morning everybody wow to be honest i don't know where to begin with you the garden is a disaster it's like a war zone and um, those of you that have followed me for the last couple of years will know that last year my garden was absolutely decimated by the mosaic virus now this is a virus that is highly contagious it's in the soil it seems to be carried by aphids that infect the plants um, you can spread it yourself by brushing past infected plants it stay on your clothing for a while it stays in wet soil for up to three months and dry soil apparently up to two years but i'm not too concerned about that side of it because the garden obviously is exposed to all the elements so it would be wet and dry hot and cold throughout the year so i'm not 100 percent convinced that it's spreading through the soil although that's probably possible but what I do need to do is um, make sure that when I handle any plants that are infected that I disinfect all my tools that I don't go near any um, healthy plants that I remove any debris from the infected plants and the idea it's ideal to burn it but it will be going in the council wheelie bin because um, they treat everything um, and I don't want to put it in black sacks and I don't want a bonfire um, so plan for today um, I'm going to work on all the healthy plants first cut back where needs to be cut back tidy up make sure they're all sorted and then I will deal with all the um, infected plants um, I'm gonna have to have a really strict regime about how I do it because I don't want to cross contaminate it's even in the greenhouse now one of my big tomato plants has got it so dare say despite all my efforts I've obviously managed to transfer it into there so yeah not good and unfortunately august has been quite a damp and miserable month so um i've not spent an awful lot of time out here in fact hardly any um i've spent a lot of time indoors doing projects um doing a lot of sewing and when it has been dry i've been elsewhere so um yeah it's been quite neglected so and I've only got two days this week to try and get it sorted because I've got another busy week. So um, it's a day of TLC. So I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to get started. So the first area I've worked on has been the Logan berries. Now I mentioned, I think, in my last video that all these posts have rotted. Um, so what I decided to do is. Um, I've cut the front loganberry right back. I'm going to try and dig that out and get rid of it and just have one plant against the back fence and then remove the posts and use this space for some other types of fruit, maybe gooseberries or raspberries. 
Now, one thing I wanted to mention, and I've, again, I think I've mentioned this before, loganberries only fruit on the previous year's growth. And on this plant, I've only got these two spurs. So they will put on a lot more growth next year, but there'll be very little fruit. Um, but the growth they put on next year, 22, will produce fruit in 2023 so that will recover and I'll be able to train it better but for now that's um, cleared this space my next task as far as the fruit cage is concerned is I'm going to have to sort out the top because this is just all perished it's torn and broken but that's an autumn job not for now <laughs> Well, it seems when I picked up the straggly um, oxide daisies, it dumped a load of seed. Look at this. So I better get busy. So I've done all that I want to do today. Cleared the loganberries, tidied up the strawberries and the lettuces, deadheaded all my tubs, given them a feed. And then I've cleared all the leeks. I've still got this to do. But look at my tomatoes. These are doing really well. It's absolutely covered. I've also tidied up the runner beans. So they're not quite so wild now. Still got a few straggly bits to sort. But look, we've got blue sky again, which is just fantastic. I've not had that for a while. So the sweet corn has got mosaic virus as well. You can see it. Good image. And these tomatoes, peppers. This tomato. I mean, it absolutely needs to come out of the greenhouse, but I'm frightened to touch it in case I spread it to anything else because I mean obviously that is in a really bad way but then if you come next to it where the cucumber is that's got to come out as well because that's got it you can see the mottled patches it's just so hard not to be despondent it even looks like my lemon's got it I was just devastated. I just had a really good look at the other tomatoes and I can clearly see they've got it as well. So these patches, I mean, they just look really poor. They're going to have to come out. I've come indoors because um, it started to rain again, so not ideal um, to be pulling up plants that have got this mosaic virus because I think I'll end up spreading it even more. 
I don't want to sound despondent, but it's just so disheartening after you put so much effort into um, nurturing your seedlings and planting them out and helping them to grow. And then you just lose everything. And I don't seem to be able to stop it. So I think I'm going to keep this video quite short. Um, what I really need to do is either try and get some advice and look online um, and look for the sort of plants I can grow next year that are resistant to the mosaic virus or whether I just don't grow anything at all next year and leave the whole garden um, to its own devices and let the virus wear itself out um, and then come back the following year. I honestly really don't know what to do. <sighs> if any of you have got any ideas, please put a comment below. That would really, really help. Um, and while I'm on the subject, if you haven't subscribed, then please do and um, click the bell icon so that you get future notifications. But um, yeah, your advice would be greatly appreciated if anybody else has experienced anything like this. Now on a positive note, I'm actually going to um, the NEC at Birmingham tomorrow for the Gardener's World show. Um, they do it every couple of years, it's usually in June. Um, but it was cancelled last year, obviously, because of COVID, and it's been postponed until this weekend. So I'm going with a friend of mine, and as long as I um, have her consent, we'll do some filming together while we're there, and I'll put out a video, hopefully next week, um, which would be much more positive. <laughs> Away from my garden and the disaster that it's become. Um... I don't know what else to say really, folks. I just hope everybody else's um, garden is doing far better than mine is. Um, yeah, I'm just going to waffle. So, yeah, Gardener's World Live tomorrow. And um, see what they've got in store for us. I'm looking forward to that. I think we need a... Need a day out. I just hope the weather's going to be nice because that's been so disappointing as well, which hasn't helped. So um, I guess I better get editing. I'll get this video out today if I can. Um, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.